Hey there, YouTubers! Professor Sheep here. Welcome to another astronomy video. Today we're discussing the last full moon of 2017, which is on December 3rd. But what makes it so special that I'm going to have an entire video on it? Well, if you didn't read the title, it's a supermoon. But what's a supermoon? Well, a supermoon is 14 times larger than a micromoon. But what is a micromoon? Why well, a micromoon like a like a supermoon, it can either be a new moon or a full moon. New moons aren't visible, so we focus on the full moons. The next micro full moon is on July 27, 2018. This is when the moon is as far away from the Earth as it can possibly be to be still considered a full moon. So, a supermoon therefore is as close as the moon can be to be when it's during a full moon. And so therefore it is 30 times brighter in the sky than a micro moon, which means I'm staying up to watch the entire thing. But what causes this? Well, we all assume that planets and moons and stars have nice circular orbits. But the fact of the matter is they don't. As I said in my new moon video link in the description below that the moon has a 5 degree tilt based off the equator of the, of the Earth. <clears throat> but that's in the Z axis. But what we're concerned about today is in the X and Y axis, which brings us to the board. Now, an ellipse is, by most definitions, a when two parabolas foci, which is the distance between the edge here and the distance here. Now these parabolas when they point towards each other if the foci overlap or on top of each other you get a circle which means the radius or which is the radius is equal to R1, R2, and R3. They're all equal. No matter anywhere on the circle you are they're always going to be equal. But in a, but in a ellipse that's not true. Earth is one of the foci. The other foci is somewhere out in space. Now, D1 is equal to D2. So the distance from Earth to the moon, which is the closest the moon can be, is equal to over here. But what makes this a micromoon, which would be out here, is this distance in here, the distance between the two foci. But that's all complicated math and way over my head and way over a lot of people's heads. But what caused the moon to have such irregular orbit? Why can't it just have a circle? We have to go back 4.5 billion years ago. The Earth was only a few hundred million years old. Then a Mars-sized object named Thea came smashing in. Now if Thea had hit Earth straight on, we probably wouldn't have a moon in the first place. The two objects probably would have merged and the Earth would just be a little bit bigger. And life probably wouldn't have happened. Because it was thanks to Thea that we got our 23.5 degree tilt. It was because of Thea that we got our 24 hour day night cycle and it was because of Thea that we have a 365 and a quarter day year. Thea hit the Earth in such a way to set everything the way it is. When Thea hit, it launched chunks of crust off into space. Earth had rings for about a year. The particles in the rings began to coalesce, and by the end of that year, we had a moon, made out of the same material as Earth. So, the moon was already off to a bad start, because those rings 
were nice, but as they began to coalesce and began to pull on the earth and to set it into the and to start to set it in the uh, speeds it is and the angles that it is now, it began to speed up as they got closer and go and slow down as it went further away and then sped up and got further away. As we all know, the moon is slowly getting further away, but that's not important. What's important is here, as it comes closer, it speeds up and then goes further away because there's less gravity pulling on it. That's how we get our ellipse. That's why we have super moons, and that's why we have micro moons, and, th and that's why this next full moon is so important. It's the largest. It's the largest full moon you will probably see for at least a year. Super moons as full moons or new moons are actually quite common. They happen three to four times a year. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and share new videos every Friday. And good night. Ah, great night to view the moon. Well, what are you guys doing here? Well, if you like the astronomy video you just watched, check the link in the description below. And consider subscribing. Now, leave me be back to what I was doing. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.